guys, how's it going? Just doing a quick update on uh, what's going on around here. I have no idea where this video is going to go. Um, but there's also a couple of things I've got to show with that uh, posty bike, or one thing, just the, the back mounting thing. So here we go. First of all, we're going to go check out the, uh, the posty bike. Someone mentioned the bag on the right hand side where the exhaust is. It looked like it was too close to the exhaust and wondered whether that was going to be an issue and whether I made up a mounting thing for it. Because my back went out and I was all fucking all over the joint. So I forgot to show you that. I'm going to show you that right now. Okay. All right. So. If I can get down and show you. Underneath here you'll see I have made this little bracket. Just out of that aluminium stuff. I still haven't got it bolted down yet. Because I'm waiting to get the road ready before I do that. But yeah, basically that just helps hold it off there. I mean, it's got this here as well, um, but that'll just keep it held off. And if I find that it's still too close, I can bend uh, this out a little bit more, but I've just left it at that for now. So there you go, there's that. Now there was another thing, and uh, someone asked and was how this was attached to the bike. And I, I explained it was simply uh, two Velcro straps. As you can see, this bag, has these uh, strap things or buckles and then I've just simply got just a little bit of uh, velcro strapping and this is exactly the same as what Charlie's got and uh, has done plenty of miles wrap that around like that hey presto she's on simple and bloody cheap which I like <laughs> now you've most probably noticed there's a tent here in the backyard I'll show you what I'm doing there Okay, so apparently, um, like I say, you can never have too many jerry cans, you can never have too many motorbikes, you can never have too many bloody batteries, or well, apparently you can never have too many tents, <laughs> if you're me. Um, we've got, this is one of those, uh, it's a four-man Coleman instant, uh, one of those instant pop-up tents that apparently takes about a minute to uh, pop it up, which apparently is pretty close to a minute. Um, but when we did the last ride, that ramble, um, and we used the uh, the motorcycle uh, camping tent, that one that, like, the, what is it? I've got a two-man tent, and that's bloody brilliant for one person on a motorbike. It's bloody fantastic. Love it. Um, but they've actually got a three-man tent, which is great for um, two people. So we thought we'd uh, we started selling it um, for people that are two up on a motorbike and want to go travelling. Um, so we thought, well, that would be bloody perfect. Anyway, of course, we like to try shit out. So we took that um, on the Ramble ride, and it, it worked great. The only problem with those tents is they do compact down, and they don't have bloody strings all over the joint and big-ass poles, and it's really simple to set up. The, the, the biggest downfall to those is that you can't stand up in them and get yourself dressed or whatever. you always bloody got to be sitting down in them. So I thought, well, you know, it's... That would be great for me and Nay if we both jumped on Harry and we went for a tour and we wanted to camp. Um, so I think we've proved that, that that works really well. But when you've got a four wheel drive with a bloody trailer on the back, plenty of space to put stuff, why the hell not have a big tent? Now we've got that other big tent which we did on the little desert um, adventure ride that we did where Nay had the uh, Charlie, the pasty bike, and I had uh, Max. Um, and that tent was great. But, you know, it's a big tent, really, we only bloody sleep in it. Um, and, you know, it takes a bit to set it up. It's not too much. It took us, I think, about an hour to set it up or to, to pack it down. So we thought, well, I thought, because <laughs> I love doing this shit, um, that for Nay, you know, at least having something to be able to stand up in, but it's something that's really quick. And I think I've been looking on YouTube, looking at all the different bloody types, but um, I found this one. So I've bought it, it was $299 um, and yeah, it works really well and this tent will be really great for those times where we're only staying overnight somewhere, um, not actually camping somewhere. So this is the bloody tourer tent, I've now got a solo <laughs> bloody tent, we've got the passenger bloody um, tent and, and we've got the, the other big tent which is if we were going to bloody stay somewhere for you know a few nights at a time or something where you'd set it up. and and have that and have plenty of room and stuff in it. Um, so yeah, I'll stop bloody dribbling on now, but yeah, so that's it. I'll give you a quick look. We'll most probably show you a bit later. So yeah, Coleman, um, four person, quick up tent. 
I was um, actually just put it up today and I don't know if I can get in there but that's a double bed um, blow up mattress so you can see it still has heaps of room in there and the beauty is if you can see right in the middle I can stand up and they can stand up anywhere in this tent um, not a problem if I go this way about here I can just I'm hitting that but in the center it's up there there you go I've got uh, a bit of room <laughs> all right there you go oh I must also, I will say that um, there was an Oz tent they had I went to BCF and um, it goes up in about 30 seconds. When we were in there looking at this tent, I seen it up on the, on, they were playing a video. I couldn't believe it, it was bloody fantastic. The whole setup of how, how it worked. Um, and they actually had one there. And I thought, oh man, this is great, we'll get this. And I looked at the price tag, it was $1,000. So I went, yeah, that's out of my price range. <laughs> All right, on to the next thing. So as I said in one of those, uh, the post Nays Posty by Project uh, videos, we, um, Nay knocked up um, uh, some benches for putting all the, uh, all the stuff when we pulled the bike apart and we had some pallets and stuff. Well, once we had all that done, we actually, Nay decided to clean out the woodshed. And here's some of the, here's some of the remnants of uh, all the wood that we've pulled out of Nay's shed. As you can see, it's quite a bloody uh, lot of stuff there. But we ended up going and getting about another 10 pallets um, that we just find on the side of the road in the industrial areas where they just put them on the side of the road for people just to take, use them as firewood or, or whatever. Um, but what Nay likes to do is she likes to build furniture out of the stuff. And I tell you what, it comes up pretty bloody good. So anyway, we started cleaning up the, uh, the woodshed, but um, yeah, Nay's taken it to a whole other level. She's built all these um, all these uh, shelves and everything to go all the way around it. And that was part of when I did my back pulling out, we had a big billiard table set up in there, but it was really too wide and took up a lot of space. So anyway, I'll show you, I'll show you her woodshed at the moment. It's still a work in progress. I think Nay's in here. Ah, oh, there she is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing, I'm just showing you a marvellous work in here. Is this not an organised workspace? It's fantastic. Look at that. And all these, um, all these shelves, all them, Nays made all this out of pallet wood. So it didn't cost a thing, except for obviously the nails and screws. So all this, all the way along, all there. I mean, she's even got her pallets um, up here and uh, so we're just starting to nail all bits and pieces up there. She's a clever woman that one. You should <laughs> keep me for a bit longer. Yeah, I reckon I'll keep her. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've been busy doing that as well. Um, Alright, I'll leave now. She's currently building a, um, what do you call one of those things? Toy box. A toy box. A toy box for a little... For an unborn baby. <laughs> yes, an unborn baby. But apparently we know what it is. It's going to be... It's a girl. It's a girl, there it's you go. Girl. So she's building this... Um, it looks a bit crappy at the moment because it's only got undercoat on it. But that's going to be a toy box. And then she's also going to be making a change table as well because she's very clever. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> All right, on to the next thing. Come here, Sophie. Come on. There you go, come here. Oh, what Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> in the last video, you see at the end of the video that there was a little puppy, and I put there was a new visitor to the man cave. Well, some people think it's actually our dog. It's not our dog. <laughs> as much as it is very cute, it's a girl. Her name is Sophie, and that's the next door neighbor's dog going crazy. Um, She's a Kelpie. I got Matt here. And he's the actual owner, which is Nay's oldest son. Border Collie. Oh, I keep saying Kelpie. It's a Border Collie. It's a girl, and her name is Sophie. Come on, Sophie. Okay, guys. So something I've been playing around with, um, and that's to do with the whole um, Jeep support vehicle, whatever. Um, got a couple of boxes here. There's a lighting box and a power box. 
what I'll do is I'll bring you down closer so you can see what's in there. Now I won't go into too much detail on this stuff, I might do that for another video. But basically in the lighting box is obviously all my lighting bits and pieces. And I've created all these what I call a light panel. So they're all those LEDs, the cheap stuff that you buy um, off eBay and you just can create your own little light setups. So we've even got this little one here which goes works on a, uh, on a stove thing that we've set up for the, the trailer. Um, like I said, I'll show you all that in more detail in another video. That's that. But what I really like at the moment, this is my power box. So all my stuff that's to do with power. But this is the main thing that I'm <laughs> wanting to show you. And this isn't my idea. I seen this as one guy on on uh, on on the internet, and it's not a YouTube. It's just a website or a forum or something. But Oh shit, I've got all these connected, what am I doing? Oh. Ah. I'll unconnect all these, because I had, there's one, two, three, four, four um, batteries, and they're those sealed batteries at 7.2 amp hours or whatever they are. Um, they're a really great sized battery and I've used them before, but if I only just employed this new little system, I can link them all up, just using these uh, wires, and then I can charge them all at once. <clears throat> but basically, you can pull this out like that, and let's say you wanted to put a light, I don't know, at a tent or at the trailer or anywhere, I can just plug the light straight into that, carry it around. How's that? And I made this little handle. This is the thing that I uh, seen on um, on the web. A guy had just put these two things there, handle, and then you just tape it in. So if you ever need to uh, remove this, you just take the sticky tape off and like, okay, away you go. There you go. So yeah, uh, so I just doing lots of bloody bits and pieces. I mean, I just love tinkering around and sometimes it's useless bloody stuff. Sometimes it's useful. Um, I just get a lot of entertainment out of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna go out to the Jeep. The back of the Jeep, I'd set up that, uh, like an organizer for the back of the Jeep and I've made it out of wood. <clears throat> well, I've now done that in um, the aluminium stripping. So we'll go out there and I'll just give you a quick, uh, a quick look at that. All right, so looking a bit bloody. <clears throat> A bit uh, dusty. Um, oh, I shall have to pull all this stuff out. Oh. There you go. That might give you. I'll bring you in a little bit closer. Yeah. So basically, I, I what I had. Um, what did I do? I had a, a, a frame down the bottom. And then I had this piece coming up here, and that's where I had the uh, the first aid sitting up there. And then they just slid in, and I think the esky basically went straight in there. So what I've done is I've got rid of the wood. The wood worked really, really well. Um, but like I said when I did it, was, was that if it worked well enough, I'd then turn it, make it out of this aluminium stuff, which I have. And I tell you what. This aluminium stuff with those quick, or these corner pieces, the plastic stuff where you just cut the pieces, put the corners in, everything's straight, square. Um, a bit like a Meccano uh, set, I think. Um, but yeah, it worked really well. So I ended up creating a little shelf here um, so I could put all the, the stoves <coughs> and stuff in here. It's easily pull in and pull out. Well, it was. What have I done? Oh. Oh, that's right. Got that in there. That just goes in there. Yeah, this is a, uh, a hot plate, <clears throat> which I've got. There he's in there. So now I can have oh, that go up there. I didn't want to make this too high because I like to have that open so I can see out, out the back. Um, I know Nay likes to be able to see out the back as well. Yeah, and I've basic these drawers used to come out a little bit as we were driving along because they're just basic bloody drawers. But I've uh, set up little handles, just screwed them into there. So now 
I can lock this down. So that actually holds that in there. That's in there. Um, this frame is actually held down as well. Um, and then that being held down, that also stops these drawers from coming out. And it's fairly quick and easy to just bloody pull that out. And then you can open up the drawers. Like that. And then if you want to put it back down, or lock it up. Of course, you guys know I love those gotcha straps. They come in handy for everything. Um, oh, what did I do with that one? Put that down. Same with that. So I suppose this is good for when you're getting jostled around on those back tracks as we do. Um, or even, spin it around. Or even in the case of a, uh, an accident or something, that should stop stuff hopefully flying um, you know, into the back or whatever. Oh, so there you go, so that's that back thing. We'll most probably do a, um, a uh, another support vehicle video where I'll most probably go into a little bit more detail of the stuff and the bits and pieces. All right, back into the man's cave. All right, that's, uh, that's a quick bloody run around of some of the stuff that we're doing around here. Um, oh, actually, in the, was it the last video or it was, no, it would have been the video before that one. Yeah, at the ending I had a, uh, a blue helmet, which he, here's a little bit of footage of that, <laughs> that blue helmet. And I did a bloody stupid grin at the end of it, as you can see. Um, of, this is what I was uh, doing. I went to um, the, the local tip and uh, I found this, the blue helmet, and it was like $5 for the helmet. And I just thought, oh, might have a bit of fun. $5 entertainment. So, what are you doing, safe? Make a noise over there. Um, so anyway, I've grabbed this thing and I've just painting it up. It's a bit dusty at the moment. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. There's the visor. Maybe a Mad Max helmet. Um, I don't know. Who knows what I'll do with it. But yeah, that was what that uh, that little blue helmet thing was for. So that's another thing I'm doing at the moment. Basically, I want to get a bit of spare, spare time, which I never have. <laughs> um, hey, it's the 11th of the 11th. I don't know if this is um, only for Australia or whether um, around the world other people have Remembrance Day uh, for, for the wars, but anyway, hope you bought your poppy. <laughs> um, so the only other thing now is that I've got that uh, the Dual Sport Ramble, we're doing another ride. Uh, it's on the 29th and the 30th of uh, November, so it's uh, most probably yeah, 20 days away. We've got two riders that have uh, booked in for it. Two guys, uh, their mates from down in Melbourne are coming up. I'm not sure if Ken's going to be coming uh, down for that particular one. I know he started up uh, a, a new business venture thing, so he's really busy with getting all that stuff done. But he said if he can make it, he'll make it. Um, but anyway, it's going to be a good thing to uh, get uh, all, the, all the new stuff that we've done with the, the Jeep. Um, the trailer set up and the tent and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be a good little uh, test for us with the new setup. Um, here's the, uh, the the display thing or the advert or whatever you want to call it, the poster for the for the bike ride. <laughs> um, I'll do a quick video uh, just outlining a little bit more, hopefully in the next couple of days, and shoot that up as well. All right, guys, uh, that's about it. I just wanted it to be a quick one. Whether you're interested in some of the stuff that I've showed you or not, whatever. Alright guys, keep on riding.